Well, good afternoon, guys. You know, we're out here in Dearborn where protesters are demanding answers. Now, Great Lakes Water Authority says they had problems, but those problems don't equal failures. Searching for answers one week after Southeast Michigan works to search for solutions after massive rainfall led to massive flooding. The flooding was caused by the amount and the intensity of the rain, which was more than what typically falls in the entire month of June, and it overwhelmed the system. But the director of the Great Lakes Water Authority says challenges do not mean failure. The Connor Creek pump station did not fail. That's a message that's out there. I want to be clear about that. But the Macomb County Public Works Commissioner Candace Miller questions that assertion and is calling for an investigation of the operation of the pump station. Yes, we had a lot of rain, but guess what? Everybody knew the rain was coming and something happened at that plant that I think was a managerial breakdown. Director Sue McCormick admits during the massive rain event, some things did not go as planned at some of their pump stations. The fruit pump station experienced two operational challenges during the rain event. The first challenge was the electrical trips on starting the third pump. We don't know the cause of the trip, but we'll certainly investigate that. The second challenge was the power supply to the station, which was interrupted. That electrical issue did lead to some issues with pumps. Although the pump station has six pumps available for operation, it was limited to operating three pumps. There were also challenges at Connors Creek. Shortly thereafter, the pump station lost what we call house power, building lights, access gates, the control system. An electrician was assigned to investigate both pump stations. So as with Fruit, the Connor Creek pump station faced operational challenges. But I want to reiterate, the pump station never failed. Over the past several years, GLWA says it's been evaluating improvements at both pump stations. We have invested more than 10 million in design, construction and improvements to these stations in recent years. But the question many want to know is if these challenges somehow played a factor in the flooding caused by last week's rain event. We rely on hard data. And what I've described above are our initial observations and they don't represent exact cause and effect. For this, we will conduct a thorough internal investigation. Back out here live. So the bottom line is that they're still investigating and that investigation is called an after event analysis and they say it could take months. Back to you. And what are the protesters out there saying about all of this? Well, Monica, if you take a look at this poster, I think it pretty much says it all. They want to know who is responsible. We need fund relief for our damages. They want FEMA assistance. Basically, they need help. Back to you. Yeah, so much cleanup ahead, so much damage. More to come. Thanks, Ingrid.